So I was doing something I literally never do. Going to the library. Not because I wanted to, I was just hanging out with my aunt and she needed to look for a book and then she brought me to the library. And me being me, I immediately went to check out the manga they had as normal books are too many words, not enough pretty pictures. And quite frankly, my ADHD riddled brain cannot stand them. I was honestly surprised by their collection. They had some decently unpopular manga, not just the big three or what's currently popular. Sure, they had that too, with there being the entire collection of My Hero Academia, but the point is, it was a pretty nice and varied collection. To the point where there was a manga I had never even heard of there. This was really surprising, coming from me, the CEO of Unpopular Manga, so I just needed to know what this thing was about, and why I had never heard of it. And upon reading the back, I just knew this was gonna be a hidden gem. And after reading it, I gotta say, I was right on the money. So today's story goes by the name of I Had That Same Dream Again. It's about this little girl and her journey to trying to figure out the answer to a school assignment she was assigned. What is happiness? It's honestly an impossible question to answer. But this little girl is determined to figure it out. So she goes to three people over the course of the story to try to figure it out. She has no friends in school, no friends her age at all actually, she just has these three people. Starting with Minami-san. Minami-san is actually the last person the girl visits, but shh, this is my video. So the little girl finds out that none of her two friends are home, so she decides to go exploring down a path she's never went through before. It leads to an abandoned building, and on the roof of it she finds her. A girl with short black hair that is cutting herself with a box cutter. The little girl thinks there must be something wrong with her head for her to do something like that, and the black-haired girl says that that just might be the case. The little girl decides to call the black-haired girl Minami-san, as it says Minami on her school uniform. You see, Minami loves writing stories, and the little girl looks up to her because of it, as she has always wanted to be an author herself. It sounds so nice building her own world, she says. The little girl insists that she gets to read some of Minami's work, and eventually, she is actually able to. Minami-san, you offered a really lovely world in my heart. That's the little girl's honest thoughts on her story. And that's when Minami tells the little girl, Happiness is when somebody acknowledges that it's okay for you to be here. Okay, excuse the bad audio quality, but I think this is a good point to say. Um, this script was written based off this like physical version of the manga I have. So as you can see, the thing I found online, um, it's very different to the physical one. So um, you'll have to forgive that the visuals of the video are going to be kind of different to what I'm saying. Um, that should be fine though, right? So I, I just wanted to make that clear, okay? I'm not dry pulling this out of my ass. This is what it says here. Yeah. Anyway, back to the video. Everything seems to be nice and happy until the little girl mentions that she had a fight with her parents and is refusing to make up with them. Minami yells at her in pure desperation that she needs to apologize since she can't turn back time and she's sure to regret it forever if she doesn't make up. The little girl follows Minami's advice and makes up with her parents. You see, she was mad at them for getting busy with a business trip when they promised to come visit her in school for her presentation like all the other parents. But in the end, since they made up, her parents ended up rebooking their flight until the afternoon and ended up being able to be there after all. For the record, I don't really get why they didn't just do this from the beginning, but I digress. After this, the little girl never saw Minami again. The skank. I know what you're thinking, but that is actually just what she's called. At least in the translation that I have. She's called something similar in the actual original manga, so like, it, it works, okay? Anywho, the skank is a woman who works with, um, quote, selling her youth, as the little girl puts it, and she goes over to hang out with her and play a fellow, which they both really like. But there was this one time where the skank was acting kind of strange. You see, the little girl asked her for some advice. There's this boy in her class, the only boy that really talks to her. But he stopped coming to school since everyone in class makes fun of him because his dad stole something. The little girl wanted to share him up and get him to come to school with her. 
but he just responds by yelling at her and telling her how he hates her. The little girl is confused on what to do. She really wants her friend to come back to school, but how was she supposed to help him without him getting angry? The skank gives her basic advice like, treat others like you yourself want to be treated, but then something strange happens. After the little girl mentions the name of the boy in question, Kiryu, she displays a face of pure shock. Are you Nanoka? Yeah? The skank bursts into tears. She then apologized profusely for, well, everything, really. All the while, the girl can only think about how weird it is that both Minami and the skank knew her name without her even having to tell them. The skank then tells the little girl a story. A story of a girl who was always alone. A girl who chose to be alone since all she thought she needed was to be smart. She thought she'd be fine all on her own, but this only led to her being miserable. She'd make bad decisions, ruining her body with drugs and selling it, all because she had nobody to tell her it was wrong. You need people. We as humans all need people around us. We simply cannot make it on our own. The skank had a lot of bitter parts in her life, but at the end of the day, there were also a lot of sweet parts. Happiness is thinking about someone earnestly. After this, the little girl never saw the skank again. Grandma. The last person. Over the course of the story, the little girl visits the grandma time and time again. But every time she visits grandma seems to be getting more and more tired. To the point where she spends most days just sleeping. But on the days where grandma is awake, she spends a lot of time talking about this old friend of hers. An artist that lives far in another country, she thinks about him a lot. She even has a painting he made for her hung on the wall of her house. She probably misses him, misses him a lot. But there's something weird about grandma too. She keeps insisting the little girl has this ability to see into the future. I wonder what that's all about, but whatever. At the end of the day, she says that happiness is being able to say that I'm happy right now. After this, the little girl never saw the grandma again. The reason I said answering the question of what is happiness is impossible is just this. These three people had three very different answers to what happiness is. And that's just it. The answer can and in most cases will differ from person to person. But the thing is, these four characters I've told you about over the course of the video are all the same person. You see, when grandma said the little girl could see into the future, she wasn't lying. These three characters the little girl have visited over the course of the story just so happened to be three different versions of her own future. They're trying to steer her in the right direction. Minami made her make up with her parents which caused them to rebook their plane. This saved their life as the plane they were planning on taking originally crashed and would have resulted in their death. This death of her parents and the regret she felt because she never made up with them is what caused Minami to fall into depression and lead to her cutting herself. The skank taught the girl the importance of friends and how smarts aren't all that matters which prevented her from being all alone all her life leading to her ruining herself. And then grandma taught the girl the importance of being honest with your feelings. If grandma was honest about how she felt with that one friend of hers, maybe then she wouldn't have to die so alone. Even though they were all the same person, they all had different takes on what happiness is. Which just goes to show how impossible of a question it is to answer. But then, what was the point of this story? Just to tell you how impossible of a question what happiness is to answer? Well, um, no. <laughs> this story isn't here to tell you something. Instead, it's here to ask you two questions. First of all, what is happiness to you? And second of all, are you happy with how your life is going? You see, the first one's obvious. Over the course of the story, the girl keeps asking everyone what happiness is to them, so it makes you start to think about what you would answer if this question was asked to you. But what I want to focus on is that second question. Are you happy with how your life is going? Seeing this girl talk to all these future versions of herself, seeing how one wrong move can lead to her turning out completely different when she grows up, really makes you think. 
What kind of person do you want to be when you grow up? And are you on track to becoming that? Most stories I read are written to send a message. So it's really interesting when a story like this shows up and forgets about all of that and instead really makes you think for yourself. I think we humans rarely take a moment to just reflect on ourselves, to really check in on ourselves. Am I happy? Is my life going like I wanted it to? Will I continue to be happy? These questions never really come to mind, but I think it's important. It's important to check up on your friends and loved ones, but it's also equally important to check up on yourself every once in a while. So I ask you, how are you doing? Are you happy? I know that's a loaded question, but really, really think about it. Are you happy with how your life is going? Are you happy with who you are as a person? Think it over. And until next time in like a month, because Jesus, my upload schedule is hot garbage. Take care of yourselves. Okay? <laughs> Bye-bye.